welcome back to mystical kannada friends in our last video we learned about the kadamba dynasty and today we shall know more about the gangas of talakadu the talakadu gangas ruled from 325 to 1004 ad in the kuvalapura now known as kola and later from talakadu they were practicing vedic and vaishnavism the most prominent kings among them were raja madhava raja avinita raja durvinita and raja shri purusha their business language was kannada the language of script and inscriptions were sanskrit and kannada their major literary works and authors during this period were second madhavans dattaka sutra guruvarmans shudranta and harivamsha first nagavarmas chaudumbudi sai gupta shivkumaras gajashtaka sai kumara tarpa and setu banda veeranandis chandraprabha purana durvinitas shabdavatara and shri purushas gaja shastra the western ganga dynasty or the gangas of talakadu constitute one of the most enduring and celebrated royal dynasties of karnataka this is one of the most important dynasties in south india and was the third in karnataka the dynasty was founded by kongani varma madhava and its capital was kuvalapura now known as kola later the capital was shifted to talavanapura which is now talakadu manne that is manyapura and mankunda were their regional capitals the latest theory about the gangas which gives them a local origin is as follows the gangas must have been the sons of the soil the gangas belong to the local agricultural sect of karnataka the gangadikaras are pure kannadigas there is no objection to think that dhadiga and madava belong to this sect even the names of the brothers were those which were in use in karnataka according to some records the western gangas belong to jhanaveya kula kanvayana gotra and traced their lineage with the solar and ikshvaku dynasty they were also known as kongani arasas the dynasty reached its zenith under the rule of king madhava king avinita king durvinita and king shri purusha who is considered the greatest of the western gangas rulers shivamara the first held the title shishya priya and avani mahendra king yaravanga was called neeti marga and ranavikram marasimha the second held the title gurga rajhadi raja king shri purusha held titles like raja kesari permadi shri vallabha and bhima kopa king bugata the second was called maharajadi raja king durvinita held titles avinita sthara ujjalaya ahita anitha dharma maharaja kuloddhara neeti shastra vakta and prayaksha kushala king avinita was called haracharanara enda pranipata the gangas were essentially secular and encouraged all major religions such as jainism saivism vedic brahmanism and the hindu sects of shaivism they practiced they practiced the vedic religion and later adopted jainism shiva vishnu durga and the tirthankaras were worshiped by them they are most famous for their patronage towards jainism resulting in the construction of monuments in places such as shravana belagula and kambadahalli the western gangas used kannada and sanskrit extensively as their language of administration literary jains used kannada as their medium to spread jain faith ganga kings were well known warriors and patrons of art and literature they encouraged the fine arts due to which literature in kannada and sanskrit flourished many classics were written on various subjects ranging from religion to elephant management Durvinita was a patron of literature and arts and was a poet by his own merit. He is the author of Shabdavatara and he has written a commentary for Bhairava's Kiratarjuniya. He is credited with translating Gunadya's Vaddakatha. Shri Purusha ranks among the more important Ganga kings. He implemented many administrative reforms 
and he is the author of Gaja Shastra. Sai Gotta Shivamara had a checkered career and he has authored Gajashtaka and Setubandha. Chaundaraya's Chaundaraya Purana is an, an important work in Kannada prose. Nagavarma I was a noted Jain writer and poet in Kannada. His two important works are Karnataka Kadambari, a Champu-based romance novel and an adaptation of Bana's Sanskrit Kadambari and Chaudhumbudi are the earliest available work on Kannada prosody, it is Chandas. Some of their inscriptions are bilingual. Their inscriptions in Kannada have outnumbered Sanskrit copper plates. The Gangas had copper inscriptions, stone inscriptions and memorial stones. Their copper inscriptions are in Sanskrit and the stone inscriptions are in Kannada. The Gangas have not contributed much to the numismatics of Karnataka either. There are five different coins bearing the elephant emblem without any script belongs to this dynasty. Recent excavations at Tumbula near Mysore have revealed a set of early copper plate bilingual inscriptions dated 444. The genealogy of the kings of the dynasty is described in Sanskrit while Kannada was used to describe the boundary of the village. An interesting inscription discovered at Beguru near modern Bangalore that deserves mention is the epigraph dated 890 that refers to a Bengaluru war. This is in Aleganada language and is the earliest mention of the name of Bangalore city. They encouraged agriculture by building canals and supported trade by adopting proper policies of taxation. The Gangas built many Hindu temples with impressive Dravidian gopuras containing stucco figures from the Hindu pantheon, decorated pierced screen windows which are featured in the mantapa along with Saptamatrika carvings. Some well-known examples are Arakeshwara temple at Olayalu, Kapileshwara temple at Manne, Kolaramma temple at Kolar, Rameshwara temple at Narasamangala, Nagareshwara temple at Begur and the Kalleshwara temple at Aralaguppe. At Talakad, they built the Maraleshwara temple, the Arakeshwara temple and the Pataleshwara temple. Unlike the Jain temples where floral decoration is common, Hindu temples were distinguished by slab of stone with decorative sculptures illustrating episodes from the epics and Puranas. The architecture and sculpture of Gangas do not have many distinctive features even though many temples and basadis were built during their reign. The temples at Manne, Narasamangala, Kolara, Kitturu, Nandi and the Chaundaraya Basidi at Shravanabidagula are the more important ones among them. The Ganga kingdom comprised of Kolara, Mysore state and of the Kaveri river basin except in the delta of Tanjavur, Bangalore, Tumkur and Mandya. This region was known as Gangavadi. However, at different points in its reign, it had control over Shivamogga, Asan, Chikkamagalur, Kurg, Bellari, Chitradurga, Davangere and Darwad districts of present-day Karnataka. Occasionally, they occupied Coimbatore and Salem districts of Tamil Nadu. They ruled for about 600 years. That's about the Gangas of Talakadu. We shall meet in our next video related to the Badami Chalukyas dynasty. Until then, like Kannada, love Kannada and subscribe Mystical Kannada for lot more interesting videos about Kannada and Karnataka. Siriganadam Gelge, Siriganadam Bhai.